hello what's up youtube Ronnie sweet and a video and in this tutorial i'll show you guys how shooting raw really saved my life and i want to give you guys a brief history about this specific image that you're looking at right now in this particular video so i'll show you guys why i always recommend that you shoot in raw and the incident in which i landed or the moment that landed me into trouble so recently i shot a garden birthday shoot and it happened to be that the decoration was staged it was i think at around 3 p.m around 2 33 p.m so where they put the decoration they put it just in front of the sun so basically the sun was creating a backlight from around this corner and the sun was coming from this direction so basically the deco had information in this area you can see like this was plain white so we had information right here and some little bit of the balloons were a little bit blown out and my subjects were perfectly exposed so i wanted to regain back information in this particular image because i fell in love with it and it was maybe like more of a hero shot for that moment you know how difficult it is when it comes to shooting kids they're always running here and there so if at all you don't shoot in row maybe this tutorial may convince you to start shooting raw maybe in the near future so this is the raw file and the information about it it is a camera raw or from canon and it is a 6d file and i mean my camera raw interface and the version i'm using is 12.4 and i shot it at iso 200 using a 70 to 200 tamron lens and i shot this image at f4 and my shutter speed was at 1 out of 640th of a second and my lighting setup was the Godox AD600 BM so I tried so much to uh, overpower the sun but however much you were trying to overpower the sun remember you're going to end up blowing out the details right in front or behind the subjects right here I hope you can see those details so I just tried as much to use it at 1 out of 4 uh, the power of my AD600 BM so that I ex perfect, perfectly exposed my models or my subjects right here while retaining a little bit of detail right around them so that I don't have so much work to do when it comes to recovering the details in post production so basically this is the image I had and what I did for this specific image I simply came to my highlights and usually when i'm editing my raw files i push the highlights down remember the highlights are really blown out in this image so the adjustment i want to do is coming to the highlights and i'm just going to push it all the way down and you can see what this does it regains the information on this kind of uh, photo booth in the background you can see like let me try zooming in you can see that these words were not being seen initially and we have tried to recover them by just pushing the highlight slider all the way down and after doing that i'm going to do the same for the whites because i feel like the whites are a little bit blown out in this image so i'm just going to come right here and i'm going to push my whites down so what does what that does it regains more of the information in the background you can see the before and after in this particular birthday text in at the background right there so i'm just going to zoom out and right now you can see that the shot is now getting back into life so i just want to make it have a little bit more of the contrast so what i'm going to do i'm going to come to my blacks and just knock the blacks down just to around negative let's go with around negative 33 and that adds detail into this shot and I'm going to do the same for my shadows and this time around just open up my shadows to eliminate uh, the shadows in my subjects right here and I'm going to come to the contrast area and what I want to do is coming to the contrast slider and simply pushing it up to around 21 and let's see what we have so far and this is the before and after before after you can see the power of raw and the details we have been able to achieve so far in this tutorial so after doing all that the next thing i did 
was coming to my behest because I felt like the sun was creating that kind of uh, hazy look or that kind of mist or foggy kind of look in my uh, decoration right in the background. So I'm going to come to the dehaze slider and simply push it up just like that and you can see that this really gets more information in this shot. So I'm just going to knock it up, up to around, let's go with around 32. It is fine. So let's see the before and after before after. Right now we have the information in this image. So I'm just going to come back to the shadows and simply push up my shadows in this image just a little bit. And right now the image really looks beautiful and amazing. And I'm going to come to the vibrance and slightly make it pop a little bit around 3 and add a little bit of clarity into this shot just like that. So I feel like I should uh, eliminate the magentas in her skin tone right here. So I'm just going to come to my hue saturation and luminous slider or panel and I'm going to target the reds first of all in her skin tone. So I'm just going to hue the reds towards the oranges. So just click and hue the reds just a little bit towards my oranges just like that. And I'm going to do the same for my oranges. I'm just going to hue them towards the yellows a little bit and come to my greens under the luminous. Remember luminous is more of the lightness or darkness of a specific color. So I'm just going to come to the luminous and slightly drop down the luminous of my oranges a little bit and do the same for my greens because I want to regain back the information in the greens in the decoration and right down there so just going to knock it down slightly so you can see right now the before and after before and after so this shot was really saved uh, when I shot this in RAW and you can't be able to get back this amount of detail if at all you shoot entirely in JPEG. So basically this is how I managed to save this image by shooting in RAW and having to process it as a RAW file. So basically if at all you have learned and you really want to start shooting RAW, you can start shooting RAW and follow along the steps I have used to try to get back the information. If at all you learned in the same trouble that I landed into when I was trying to shoot this past, uh, this image. It was an outdoor image and this is all for today's story and if at all you have loved it, don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel. If at all you have been watching from this channel for the very first time, Ronix from Ronix Photography, thank you for watching. I'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating.